If I've learned one thing over my 4,000 hours playing Escape from Tarkov, it's that tips and tip videos will not instantly make you a better player. Only experience can do that. And even when you have that experience, it does not mean that you will win every fight. So regardless if you're a beginner player or a god chad player, add these tips to your arsenal and they will help set you apart from other players. But even if you have more than 4,000 hours in this game, I bet you there's at least one thing in here for you. Now let's jump in and do these rapid fire. If you see someone with really good gear on, go for their legs. All right, you're empty, pal. No, 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 no. You be shy like me. Nice try, sometimes. Or their stomach. If you get shot in the leg from range, it's likely someone trying to do their shooter board in heaven kill. So do anything that you can to get to cover as soon as possible. If your vision is obstructed by fog or a lack of daylight, Look for muzzle flashes. They give away an enemy's position. If you get stuck, sometimes the only way out is death. If an enemy knows where you are, don't peek. Especially don't double peek. If you have a flashlight, blind fire can be very effective to make them think that you're trying to peek. Sometimes they will unload on you, allowing you to rush when they reload. Use Alt S or W. You don't need to ADS all the time. Hip fire is overpowered. Skill levels cap at level 51, where you get an elite bonus perk. However, certain sims can bring you over that level 51 limit, up to 60, but you do not get the elite bonus perk. If you go and overweight, you can still get a fair amount of endurance points by dropping your gun and potentially your armor so that you go underweight, and then running a full sprint. If you see an AI scab shooting another scab, that means they're a hostile scab and they've killed other scabs. You can shoot them, loot them, and take all their stuff. You gain fence trap for killing PMCs or hostile scabs while you're a scab. If you can't tell where sound is coming from, Tilt your head to the left and the right, and it should appear more noisy in one ear than the other. It really helps you pinpoint the direction of your enemy. If you've enjoyed this video thus far, smash the like out of that ship button and subscribe because there's a lot more coming. When you hit a landmine, go back the way you came. Don't heal up and just try to get through the minefield. You'll end up dying from full health eventually. You can decrease your energy or your hydration by taking painkillers, but canceling them before they're finished. It decreases it enough so that you can increase your metabolism stats by consuming water or food. And you don't consume any uses. You become fatigued by staying out of breath for too long. And that increases the amount of energy that you lose. You lose a ton of energy while you have a bleed, so get that thing checked out right away. If you can see it at night, don't always use your flashlight. Only turn it on when you really need it. If you're not sure whether something's an NPC or a player, Toss any kind of grenade in their direction and you'll find out. Around any corner could be a rat ass enemy, so don't become complacent. If you're running with a squad, don't all stand next to each other. One grenade or mag dump could take out you all. Shade is an excellent place to hide in plain sight. It's very hard to see when it's bright out. Rebind fix malfunction to double clicking the same button that you used to check malfunction. Wait for inspect finish, then start mashing the same key. Just because you have an SMG doesn't mean you have to go full auto all the time. You don't have to be sprinting around the map all the time. After a sprint, consider standing there for about 30 seconds. That's how I end up getting this kill. Slow peeking around the right side of your body allows you to expose very little of your body. It's extremely effective against difficult NPCs like rogues, but also works against PMCs. You can almost appear dead by pressing sidestep while prone and then lifting your head up. Even better, throw some of your gear on the ground. The negative movement speed penalty only applies to walking. It does not apply to sprinting. Scabs are like sentries. If you see someone kill one right in front of you, just wait there and they're likely gonna pass you. If you're overweight, you can end your sprint without making a big screech by pressing in the shift key again to stop. If you don't, you make a big screech. If you're out of breath, you're not gonna be able to hold anything straight until you regain your breath. Bad durability guns are less accurate, but there's nothing in the stats that say this. At 150 meters, zero the same and with the same scope, the one on the left is the low durability one, and the one on the right is the 100% durability gun. ADS more quickly by using a canted sight. Aiming down sights is more accurate than hip fire. But using a laser or many types of flashlights is better than hip firing without them. Standing is less accurate than crouching when firing. And crouching is less accurate than going prone while firing. It's actually a pretty big difference. 
Put flashlights on the right side of your gun for your right side peaks. Different guns have different default calibers, which are used as the basis for zeroing, which you can do when zooming by pressing page up and page down. It's pretty complicated, but as a general rule, the default caliber is what you use to zero your gun, and differences in the muzzle velocity and the ammunition that you're currently using compared to the default caliber need to be compensated for. Look at where I'm aiming and where the bullet is landing for PS on the left and US ammo on the right for 7.62x39. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like out of that shit button, subscribe for more Tarkov content in the future, and I will see you on the battlefield. See you till out. Nice try, <laughs> 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 Got him.